If you're a strong Second Amendment advocate, as I am, what Hillary has planned for your firearm freedom may be of interest to you. The Democrat frontrunner has not been shy about what she intends to do through executive action on gun control that will, quote, go further than Obama, unquote. Keep in mind, Obama is on record as wanting to pursue expanded background checks, spending your tax dollars on developing smart guns, imposing a ban on anyone on a no-fly list, and an outright ban of all firearms for anyone on Social Security wanting assistance with handling their finances. So if Hillary intends to go further than Obama, we can expect all of that illegal infringement and more. And like Obama, she plans to leave dealing with Congress out of it. Most of what she's threatening is your standard gun grabber wish list, but some of this illegal infringement is over the top. She wants to mandate government oversight on private firearm sales, complete with background checks and paper trails. Another extreme measure is the indefinite background check. The current background check is instant, however the FBI can take as much as three days in certain circumstances. Hillary wants to make the allotted time frame indefinite, meaning the FBI can take all the time they need. Imagine your firearm application in the hands of a massive federal government agency with no time limit for processing it. She's still pushing for victims of gun crimes to be able to sue firearm manufacturers and retailers even if there was no crime committed on their part. She had this conversation with a supporter at a town hall event. Australia managed to take away millions of handguns and in one year they're all gone. Can we do that? And if we can't, why can't we? I think that's worth considering. I, I don't know enough details to tell you how we would do it or how it would work, but certainly the Australian example is worth looking at. The Australian model is worth looking at? Sorry, Hillary, we have the American model. Our right to keep and bear arms is God-given and constitutionally guaranteed. She's as anti-gun as anti-gun can get, and you better believe confiscation is part of her agenda. She even went so far as to say, if elected, it's on the top of her to-do list. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to subscribe and donate at the RayWarnerShow.com.